I heard old donkey the other day. What is it? I'm a donkey. Say it again, Charlemagne. I'm a donkey. Yes, you are a donkey. Show you how to act a donkey. Everything that Charlemagne is saying is true. Uh, donkey of the day for Monday, April 8th goes to all of you that are disappointed that J. Cole apologized to Kendrick Lamar. If you haven't been paying attention because you've grown as hell, got a family, and don't give a damn what these rappers be talking about, let me give you a quick refresher. Uh, Kendrick decided to give a few bars to J. Cole and Drake on Metro Boomin' and Future Song Like That. Do we have some clips of that, Red? For the F the Big Three. It's just Big Me. Okay. Now, uh, th this past Friday, J. Cole decided to respond when he dropped a surprise project called Might Delete Later. And on his seven minute drill, uh, he threw some, shot back, some, threw some shots back at Kendrick. Let's listen. But fell off like the Simpsons. Your Lies. first shit was classic. Your last shit was tragic. Lies. Let the record show. When I heard that last week, I immediately said to myself, J. Cole needs to delete that now. Don't wait until later. Okay, I told people J. Cole sounded like he didn't even believe what he was saying about Kendrick. He said Kendrick fell off like The Simpsons. The Simpsons have been on for 35 years. Yeah. All right? Yeah. Still at the top of their game. He sounded like he had a gun in his head and he was being forced to read a bunch of stupid-ass rhetoric that he got from social media and YouTube videos because if it's one thing you cannot go at Kung Fu Kenny for, it's his music. That's all Kendrick stands on. That's his business, the music. He is in the business of making classic, timeless music that even if you uh, don't get in the moment it will be there waiting for you when you catch up so not only did i think cole's response was weak i just knew he didn't believe anything he was saying and all of that was confirmed for me last night at the dreamville festival when cole decided to apologize to kendrick labar let's listen in my spirit of trying to like get this music out i moved in a way that was that i feel spiritually feel bad on me like like i try to like jab my back and i try to keep it friendly when I listen to it and when it comes out and I see the talk, that shit don't sit right with my spirit. That shit make me feel, that shit disrupts my fucking peace. So what I want to say right here tonight is in the midst of me doing that and, and in that shit, trying to find a little angle and downplay this, this fucking, uh catalog and his greatness, I just want to come up here and be like, publicly be like, bro, that was the lamest, like goofiest shit. And it make, I say all that to say it made me feel like 10 years ago when I was moving incorrectly. Mm. And I pray that God align me back up on my purpose and on my path. Mm. You know what I mean? I pray that my nigga really didn't feel no way. And if he did, my nigga got my chin out. Take your best shot, I'm gonna take that on the chin, boy. Do what you do. I, know, I, know. I pray that, you know, I pray that y'all are like forgiven for like the misstep and then, and then I can get back to my true path. Cause I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Past two days felt terrible. Like, mm. It let me know how good I've been sleeping for the past 10 years. That's right. I have feelings as a man, feelings as a hip-hop fan. The hip-hop fan in me isn't disappointed because in life you have to pick your battles and you have to pick your battles carefully because danger comes from trying to surpass your limits. Cole, no, he didn't really want it with Kendrick. So if you don't really want it with a person, then you are pushing yourself past the limit you aren't willing to go. And that's usually when you end up getting hurt. Not to mention, Cole said something very important in that, in that apology. He said it didn't sit right with his spirit. You must always listen to your spirit. And Cole, the reason your Kendrick diss didn't sit right in your spirit was because you knew you was lying, okay? You knew you didn't feel like that about Kendrick's music. You are an artist, a true MC, so there is not too many people who appreciate what Kendrick Lamar does as much as you do. Kendrick Lamar don't need to be a part of every algorithm on social media because Kendrick isn't a surfer, he's a wave. There is a difference. A lot of y'all are just surfers. You get online every day looking for a new wave to ride. Kendrick, when he drops projects, creates those waves that people ride. Period. Good Kid, Mad City. Classic album. We know this. The Pimple Butterfly. My favorite Kendrick Lamar album. That album is Blackity Black Black. If you ask me, Kendrick re-ushered in a black renaissance in music with that album. But that's a discussion for another day. Damn is a great project. I don't know if I have it as classic status, but Cole, you said that's his prime. You said that was his peak. So if that's the case, then you think that's his best body of work. So that's three classic albums we discussing. And then Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers, I told y'all months ago in the future, we are going to look at that in uh, Jay-Z's 444 as two of the most important hip-hop albums of all time and you know when that's going to come when you unhealed heathens get some healing when you men grow up and that's what we are here to talk about today the rap fan in me understands the disappointment many of you feel in cold but the man in me who understands that i'm a spiritual being living a human existence has nothing but respect for what j cole did see so many of us lead with pride and ego nowadays and we let these idiots on social media who we don't even know peer pressure us to say things and do things that we don't even want to do. It takes a real human to check himself and say, man, what I'm, what I'm doing, I don't even believe. I don't even believe in. I don't believe what I said. I don't even believe in what I did. 
apologize and keep it moving. Y'all want a man to attack a man for your entertainment because we are a culture that feeds off conflict. We just have to have some conflict to feast on. We like to see people at war with each other because so many of us are at war with ourselves. It's really that, really that simple. Okay, unhealed people hurt people and love to see other people hurt. Healed people and people on a healing journey aren't in the hurt business. Often individuals who have experienced hurt haven't processed their pain or developed effective coping strategies. Their unprocessed emotions can manifest as aggressive behavior towards others. And additionally, they may replicate the damaging behaviors they have experienced, a phenomenon known as the cycle of abuse. Salute to Cole for breaking the cycle, especially if he simply doesn't want to. Okay, good for you, Cole for not succumbing to the peer pressure of your homeboys, other artists, social media, whatever it is, okay? You, as a man and rapper, didn't feel comfortable with what you did. Bravo for apologizing. Bravo for doing what you feel in your spirit. So when y'all having these combos about Cole and being disappointed that he apologized, ask yourself, what's that about? Make sure that's not your wounded ego talking. And I want to say something else. Why are y'all so controlled by other people? Some of y'all had the nerve to ride with Cole when he told you the lie he told you about Kendrick's albums. He was right there all weekend acting like Cole was right about Kendrick's projects. Whole time he was capping and you was right there co-signing the cap. Just Friday, y'all was saying Cole is number one. Y'all had Cole one, Kendrick zero trending. Now that Cole has apologized for capping, y'all saying he back to number three? <laughs> y'all calling him the middle child again? Not 48 hours after y'all was just saying he's number one? This is exactly why you should always just do you and do what your spirit tells you to do. Don't listen to none of these fools because they never know what they want. Please give all these unhealed heathens mad at Cole for apologizing. The biggest he, huh? All right. <clears throat> you are so dramatic. Well, let's discuss. <laughs> 800-585-1051. I disagree with you, though, but let's discuss. 800 you were unhealed heathen. 585-1051. No, no, it's not even about you that. You're unhealed heathen. We all know this. It's, it's, well, I am, but J. Cole, when it came to J. Cole, people always, in my opinion, slept on J. Cole. They always had a problem with J. Cole. He produced his own beats. His beats don't knock the same. In the last three, four years, J. Cole has been getting on other people's beats. He's been getting on records with people, embodying everything he put out. He get on first person shooter and people started comparing him. He said he wants to be number one. He said he's number one. Mm -hmm. This is lyrical warfare. This ain't nobody ever thought it was gonna be the South versus the West. Nobody thought they were gonna kill each other. This is lyrics. So this why, is lyrics. So, so why are you mad at him for taking a step back? I'm not I'm not mad at him, but if you wanna be number one and you say you're number one, and when that person comes and tests you, you can't run away. You gotta let you you gotta battle back. That's like me. Says who though? That's how that's how the game is played. Who, who's playing the game? What if I don't want to play your game? Caitlin Clark. What if I wanted, take my ball Caitlin and go Clark home? wanted to be number one, mm -hmm. right? And she mm -hmm. lost. And the Gamecocks came uh, and watched her. And she lost. But she tried and she lost. She had no choice. She it's basketball. But she didn't come, sports. But she she didn't come back and one. apologize. She didn't come back and say, you know what? That is a terrible analogy. I shot thirty-five <laughs> points. It's not. <laughs> that is a horrible there's analogy. Still, there's this still is gaming. basketball. You don't. You don't. You don't turn around after you, you don't know you this is this is lyrics it's not a game if you want to be number one let's be number it's, one it's not a game j cole been spitting he's been putting the work in the last couple of years i just don't like the fact if that his, if his heart's not in it right and he decides to get in that booth and spit some weak lyrics like he did last week his heart was he, in it before no it because no it, it wasn't it and first person shooter his heart was in but it, he bro. wasn't battling that's what i'm saying i, I would have preferred cole if he wanted to respond just write some dope lyrics and say you the best. I'm Muhammad and Ali. Let us he's talking about he's number one. He's the best. He's saying sure. on that song he's the best. So keep keep proving you're the best by just being a dope rapper. You don't got to challenge somebody directly. But that was a challenge. Have you ever have you ever done a real? I mean a DJ battle? I don't know. Yes, I have. I'm asking. I have. But yes. do you do you feel the need to do them now? I don't know. Yes, because oh, you just go out there and. Stricken, it, it, stricken, it, it, stricken, it, it, you know what I'm saying? Not and, stricken, prove, stricken, stricken. and prove you the best just by doing the work. I don't have to challenge anybody to say you the best. You don't have to challenge somebody to say you the best. I know, I don't. And but, if, and if, and if, if he did do, and decided to take his ball and go home, he can do that too. But if you do challenge and the person gives you that work, you give him that work back. Not if you got your ass right. beat. It's you just an apology beat. after the comments. Like, after him being in the comments. He sat in the comments Jay and Cole he is, saw the feedback and was like, oh, man, now it don't sit right with me. I think, Jay, I Jay think Cole is busy. I, I think I, he wrote I, the record because he was in the comments. I do. I, I, I do believe that. I, I don't think what let's he said. Let's talk about it when we come back. Yeah, let's talk about it when we come back. 800-585-1051. Let's discuss this. The Breakfast Club. Good morning. Donkey today is sponsored by renowned personal injury attorney Michael the Bull Lamisoff. Don't be a donkey when you need a fighter on your side. If you're ever injured, go to michaelthebull.com. That's michaelthebull.com. And when you mess with the bull, you get the horns. 
Wake that ass up. Uh, in the morning. The Breakfast Club.